Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna to take a look at three things that you should definitely try on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now this first one was requested. Someone sent in an email asking how you're able to get rid of the spacing inside the gallery. Basically that's the vertical and horizontal black lines in between all of the photos and the videos. Now this is called dynamic spacing. It's a way to distinguish a photo and video from another. Also, if you're taking it in vertical or horizontal, it'll actually match up and it's able to space within the grid that you are creating. So how you're able to get rid of these spacings, if this is something that you would like to do, you just want to go inside of your little albums, pictures, or stories. Basically, once you open up your gallery and you see this screen here, this is where you go on the very bottom right hand side, you tap on that little sandwich, and this is where you go inside of settings. Now inside of here, you go to the very bottom and you go to about gallery. So what we'll do is unlock gallery labs, but also inside of here, I want to show you a few additional things. So all you have to do is tap on the version number several times. It'll say that it has been unlocked and here it is. You open up gallery labs and there's several things that you can take a look at. Now, one of these that, you know, that we're talking about for this video, this very first one was talking about dynamic spacing between photos. So all you have to do is scroll down till you find it and you turn it off. Now, what you need to do is close out of the gallery completely before it actually makes any changes. And now you can see that there is no lines separating any of these photos and videos, even though they will actually still format the, the horizontal and vertical photos as they did from before. But now, as you can tell, there is no definitive lines really between all the different photos. So they kind of mesh in together. So it really kind of depends on how you want yours to look. Now, the other things I want to show you inside of Gallery Labs before we move on to the other topics is, again, you go back inside of your settings, you go down inside of the Gallery Labs, and a couple other things that I do want to show you is this one right here. You can actually have an album lock. So if you don't want to put it into a secure folder, you can just still have it on the main side of your phone in the gallery, but it's just going to be locked. And I'm going to show you how you can get this done. And the other thing that I also want to show you is as you scroll on down and you take a look, what you'll be able to see is timeline in album. So as of right now, there is no dates. If you remember, all of the photos and videos were all together. But what I can do is now I can actually have a timeline. So it's going to give me all of the dates in between all the different photos. Again, anytime you make a change, you close out of gallery completely. You go right back inside and here it is. Now you can see the dates separating the photos. And that's, you know, one of the things that we just got done turning on. The other thing that we also turned on was the album lock. So all you would have to do to get this one done is you want to press and hold on the album that you would like to lock up. And then once you press and hold, you tap on over here inside of more and you go to lock album. And so now nobody is able to see anything inside of here unless if you put in your credentials, it's going to unlock it. Here's all the photos and the videos you get back out. If you try to go back in, it's still going to be locked. So it'll lock immediately. Now, if this is something that you would like to turn off, you just have to go inside of it. And then on the very top right hand side, this is where you have unlock album. So again, if you have anything that is super secretive, something that is definitely confidential, again, you can press and hold on an album, bottom right hand side, this is where you can lock it. But you have to remember that you do have to go inside of your gallery labs in order for this to actually be unlocked. Now, if at any point in time that you just want this to go right on back to where it was from before, if you want to, you can turn this off. Uh, you can also take a look at dynamic spacing. You can turn that thing back on, timeline and album. You can also turn that off. Or you can just simply turn it off on the very top. Once you turn off Gallery Labs on the very top, it will actually put everything back to default as long as you completely close out. And we're right back to where we were from before. And again, remember, I don't have a timeline inside of here. And also, too, I can't go through and give this thing a lock because we went through and we turned off gallery labs. Topic number two, this one is mostly for if you were to play a game and you would like to take a look at all the stats, there's two different areas that gives you two different sets of details, or even you can look at this for a regular application. So first off, let's go inside of the gaming hub. Now this is where I have all of my games located. They're all sitting just right up inside of here. And inside of gaming hub, if you press and hold on a game, you can take a look at the details. So I can see how much time I've put into the game. I can see the last time that I've played the game and also when it was installed, which was January 28th. The other place you can take a look at that is if you go on the very top, you hit on that little gamer profile icon. 
And then this is where you can actually take a look at the notifications from all your games. You can see your gameplay for all of your games. And then inside of here again, this is where you can see the details. So this one doesn't give you too much. Now the second area of details that you can take a look at for the app or the game is again, if you go back inside of here and if you press and hold on the app icon, originally we went inside of details and that is because it's the gaming hub details. But if you click on this little eye, this is the app info. And this is where you can take a look at screen time. So inside of screen time, this is what I did today. It's one hour, 54 minutes, how many notifications I got, how many unlocks I did because of the game. Also too, you can add in an app timer if you find out that you're just playing way too much. If you tap on weekly, this is where you can take a look at what you've done per the week. And also too, if you swipe over, you can see what you did for the last week and the week before that and the week before that and the week before that. So you can kind of tell that I was putting in quite a few hours, not in the first week, but when it came back over here, I was putting in a ton of hours into this game over here, averaging pretty much five hours and 20 minutes a day. That's definitely something that I should probably look into and put on a timer, but this is when I was really growing my city, growing my heroes and, and everything else. So I was putting in a bunch of time, and now that I'm kind of at a point where it takes a lot, um, I just kind of don't play it as much because there's a lot of stuff happening in the background. But this is the second location that you can take a look at if you would like to take a look at statistics. Now, let's say that you already had the game open, right? And you wanted to see those details. The, the exact same thing that you pretty much did is this. If you close out of the game, you go inside of your recent apps, you tap on the app icon. Here's again that app info. It takes you right back to where we were right before. This is where you can see your screen time. So there's two places that you can take a look at the screen time. Now for the last topic, we'll talk about separate app sounds. Now I know that this is nothing brand new, but if you get a new Samsung phone, you probably forgot that you turned this on in the past. Now this definitely comes in handy if you always listen to music via Bluetooth, if it's at home or in your car. Now when this really comes in handy is again, if you're listening to Bluetooth music and you open up your phone to another application, and there's audio coming through. Now it just went through your Bluetooth speaker. So maybe you open up Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and now you just interrupted your music play. So where you find this setting is you wanna go inside of the settings. You're gonna scroll down and you see sounds and vibration. Scroll down again, and this is where you see separate app sound. Now inside of here, this is where you wanna turn it on. You'll see a couple different pop-ups. It'll ask you which applications. Just kind of choose a few things and then you're actually able to make it look a little bit better after the fact. But basically what I did is, and how I have mine set up, is that I wanna make sure that these applications here have the audio coming through the phone. Now, what you can do on the other side of this is for apps, you can actually go through and let's say that you choose maybe YouTube music. And then with YouTube music, then you can just choose Bluetooth device and that's it. But I wanna make sure the fact that if I open up any of these applications, that audio is coming through my phone itself. Now, the only thing though, is that you can only choose five applications for this category. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So you can't really have more than five and five is going to be the max. So again, if you would like to, you can choose Bluetooth device. And then through here, you can actually just basically turn all of this off. And then what you can do is you can just do YouTube music. So that is everything for today's video. If you guys appreciated it, if you learned something brand new, make sure you just give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.